What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Detroit Love, with another video. Today, we're going to take a look at just a quick peek at how we can mod this Toy Shock digital pinball into a virtual pinball machine. Let's get it started. Okay, so today we're talking about modding the Toy Shock digital pinball into a virtual pinball machine. Now, let's let's just talk about this uh, because we've all been excited about the RK One Up and the ability to get this three-quarter scale arcade machine in our house not taking a lot of space but allowing us to have the same fun so the toy shark toy toy thanks ralph the toy shock uh pinball machine is fun by itself if you don't touch it at all don't modify it at all other than maybe painting the bezel and making it a little higher whatever you want to do without messing with the internals it's a pretty fun table with 12 I'm gonna say 11 because that going nuts is is nutty 11 really nice um, tables to play um, but if you want to go beyond that modding so we have our Facebook um, page or group uh, called the toy shock digital pinball and modding uh, so we're talking about just owning and using and enjoying the tablet as, or the table or the cabinet as it is or making slight modifications all the way to totally revamping it, okay? So leave it as it is or change it, change it slightly or change a lot. That's the place to go to talk about it. Um, <clears throat> but let's talk about some alternatives because modding, the modding community is about having options. And and Toy Shock is definitely a uh, cabinet to consider for modding, for sure. And so I just want to talk and just bring up a couple of alternatives. So this is GameRoomSolutions.com. Now, they have this mini virtual pinball cabinet. Normally 319 but it's on sale right now for 289 now this allows for a 27 inch play field. Uh, everything CNC. Um, you can buy the buttons. Now this price doesn't include the buttons. By the time you, you know, add your control kit, and if you want graphics, because it doesn't come with graphics, if you put it graphics and have it pre-installed, you're talking basically around the same price as what this is. Uh, this doesn't come with any screens. Um, it doesn't come with the computer, okay? They also have a 40, where it is, a 40-inch play field, um, play field option for 749 Again, that's just the wood and glass top. By the time you go through the configuration, that's going to be up to about a grand. And again, that has nothing to do with the computer. Um, you also have a Rec Room Masters. Rec Room Masters. I don't even know if that last one was in the, the shot or not. But this is the 40 uh, inch virtual uh, pinball cabinet by Rec Room uh, Game Room Solutions. 
And then the Rec Room Masters people have their version, which is eight ninety nine. And again, none of these none of these things include a, com a computer. Love doesn't include a game. So what I liked about RK One Up is because I could buy the cabinet and I can enjoy it as is until I was ready to modify. And I can modify it on my time and still be able to enjoy the game. That's what I like about the Toy Shock cabinet because I can enjoy it as is as I play around with this. Okay, so all those solutions I showed you, all those alternatives I showed you, all require you to build a computer like this computer to act as your uh, brains and machine inside any of those cabinets okay so you have to do this no matter which solution you go with uh, those other solutions are ready-made and are designed to be to have this added to it so they have everything that you need with it the difference with the toy shock solution is it's not designed to be modified. It's not designed to be to fit this. So that's where the challenge comes in. And we love a challenge in the modding community. So either solution is going to require this computer. Those more costly solutions larger solutions uh, even the smaller one doesn't come with legs so the toy shock comes with legs comes with everything you can play it as it is and modify as you like that's what i like about it so this this um system here there's various different uh programs this is the uh, pinball x or virtual this is the virtual pinball and there's all different types of systems that can all be used in conjunction with each other. Um, but where the challenge comes in with this solution is that um, unlike the RK1UP Raspberry Pi solution, where you can go to a website and download the whole image and load it to the Pi and be up and running fairly quickly. This process here is the extreme opposite. It is not quick. It is not a one uh, a solution. Now, it could easily be that. Most of these uh, people that mod these and create these this environment, they usually make one directory and put all the directories under it that has everything you need to do it. They could zip it up and put it on the... Uh, on a server somewhere and make it available, but they won't. If if someone does, it won't last long. This community feels that you should enjoy the hundreds and hundreds of hours of enjoyment the same way they did. No quick solution to jump in and just start playing day one. It's almost in, it's almost non-existent. Now it does exist, and they even frown on this. It does exist where companies will allow you to give them thousands and thousands of dollars, typically starting around three thousand dollars through thirty five hundred somewhere around that uh mark to uh buy their solution with um with all of this stuff configured for you and you just plug and play okay so I'll just give you one example. Uh, this is uh, VirtualPen, uh, I believe, dot .net. And this is a smaller size. They call it their um, VirtualPen Mini Virtual Pinball Machine. And it starts at $3,495. So there it is compared to the, the standard size. And they also sell that standard size one. So it's considerably, considerably smaller 
uh, in comparison. Um, ready to go. And that has a 27 inch 2K monitor. Uh, but a lot of the parts in this system is our, our actual pinball um, equipment. They also sell the full size and those you can see are five, six, seven thousand dollars. Okay? Depending on whether you want 4K, 1080p, yada, yada, yada. Okay? So, you have options. You can pay thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars and get a ready-made solution. Uh, even these guys, um, Virtual Pen, they sell DIY cabinets. And you can get any of those things flat packed and you just have, you have to put them together and you can get them whether you want them to paint it for you or you get stickers for it, yada, yada, yada. Those are anywhere to about the price of this um, toy shop all the way up to about $1,000 or, or over $1,000. Whether, whether uh, how much money you want, how much work you want to avoid doing, right? Fully trimmed, painted, unfinished, you know, the price varies. Uh, so you have a lot of options. I'm choosing to go with the toy shock. And I'm trying to present to you guys a few options. Now, I ordered a board. I had a problem with it. I'll insert that here. So the board that was recommended just will not function correctly. Got the video cable plugged in. Have the uh, LED backlight plugged in. This is the monitor. It um, is recognized by the system as green light. The computer sees that the monitor is there, number two, um, but there's no image. Now that board it didn't work. Uh, I got it on reorder, and and we'll see if it works. Or, and I also have a word into the seller. Maybe they gave me the wrong part to order. So we'll see. But with that board, that's going to give the modders the option to keep the existing screen on the toy shock, and, and just replace the internals with this type of solution. Okay, if you're going to use your own screen, bring your own screen, uh, then you're going to have to contend with what do you do with that bezel? How do you mount this screen on? What's the right size? Yada, yada, yada. And so I'm also looking at some 30-inch, uh, 32-inch uh, screens that will fit this unit. One, where you can just plug and play and you can keep the internals of the toy shock the way it is but put a 32-inch um, display on there and enjoy a much bigger screen with all the same 12 games. Or which 32 uh, 1080p um, uh, display or TV that you can use with your system and take everything out of the toy shock, including the backboard and put this screen now this screen is out of the um rk one up machine and so that that'll fit perfectly inside of that toy shock backboard um so those are the things i'm looking at and this is where i'm at right now i got this machine i have a um video card on order now this machine uh has integrated 
a dual screen, uh, uh, quite a few different options. But at least you can you can plug in two screens for sure. And what you're seeing here now is with just that standard built-in computer, uh, a video card. It It doesn't, um, you know, the screen looks fairly good. If I can zoom in for you, the screen looks pretty good, but it can it can look much better with a better with a better um, video card. So, so I have one on order that's going to. Um, allow me to use higher resolution graphics. And so, uh, what is that? It's, um, I don't even know, I'll look at it real quick while I'm talking about this. So this is my deconstructed computer. My intent is to take out the, tie, the toy shark, uh, toy shock um, internals and put all of this inside, mount it some kind of way, put a bigger screen on there, do something with the bezel, and then enjoy newer games. Now, also, I would like to take a lot of those Got Gottlieb um, um, games and bring them in as well because I'm enjoying quite a few of them. Um, and so the video card that, that you can use varies widely in... in I haven't gotten this yet, so I don't know how it's going to perform, but I'm assuming it's going to do well. It's going to work well. It is the EVGA GeForce. I don't know why it's taking so long for this iPad to load. Um, there you go. 159. And so that's, that's the... Um, card I'm using that will support up to three monitors. Show you one more time. So that should be coming in tomorrow, December 14th. Um, but I had this card here that has always been this computer. Always had four monitors on here. Never used it for gaming. Um, but And it worked fine with one screen. Then once I plugged in the second screen, Every time I launch one of these games, it w it will suddenly play for a few seconds and shut the whole computer down. Now I'm hoping <laughs> that I'm not going to have that same problem with the um, the new card. My power supply may not be powerful enough. That could be the issue. Uh, uh, you know, this is totally exposed. I hope I didn't drop uh, something metal on something and short something. Um, so I'll see once I get that in and then I'll take out, I won't put into the cabinet things I don't need, like say the, um, DVD player. I'll leave it in there, but I won't have it plugged up. So I'll eliminate as much stuff as I can. Um, right now I use Wi-Fi to get to the, to the internet for downloading things and that works fine. I can keep that in there or put it in there as I need it. Um, so it's still a work in progress. Again, getting this set up is not easy. I won't say it's not easy. Yeah, it's not easy. It's, it's a lot of resources, a lot of free resources to help you, but it's not as easy as downloading an image and putting it into your RK1 up or RK cabinet. Um, this is going to take a lot more time. But there's a lot of people out here that are willing to um, help you in the forums. There's videos on YouTube. Uh, I've been watching Mame in a Box, his, his uh, walkthroughs. And, and, and like a lot of these things, when people know stuff very well. They leave out a lot of stuff. They assume you know this. Assume you've watched this and then they don't have it organized well. So you, they want you to watch something else, but you don't know how to find that other video. And so you, you find you end up 
having to rely on somebody to tell you something, uh, even though they have all these resources, tutorials, because they, they leave stuff out because they just, they know it so well and they just assume other people, you, you know this already, or they're good at this, but they're not the best at, you know, making a video of it or doing a documentation of it because that's not their expertise. And so because of all those things, you are going to uh, need some help and it's going to be slow and you're going to get um, things set up like this. And then if you get the second screen, you got to get that set up and then you got to get a front end set up so that um, you don't have to launch it the way you see me launching it. You'll be able to um, launch it from a front end, sort of like RetroPie, uh, and be able to enjoy it without, um, you know, having to jump through a whole lot of hoops. So this is at a low resolution. Um, it will look a lot more, I think this is on the lowest setting that I have this set at now. And... It's not bad, but it can be better. And so I, I think I maybe have four or five tables right now. Now all that colorful thing in the center of that is actually what makes the table do what it does. That's all the programming, scripting, but you don't really have to know all that. And some people, they make, a lot of these tables never existed in actual cabinets and people have created them. So it's a lot of knowledge out here, but it's going to take a while. All right, so that's all. I have for now. Um, this is work in progress. I don't know how fast or slow uh, it's going to take, um, but I'll keep plugging at it and updating you as we go. Join our, our Facebook. The link is in the description um, if you're at all interested. Uh, on, the Facebook, on the Facebook group, uh, I also am sharing resources as I find them. And... Um, making it available because we are in this together. And so um, I hope you enjoy this. If you like what you've seen, you want to learn more, hit the subscription button. I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers. Um, we got to 1,000 last year around this time, and we're probably just under 18 right now. And so if you guys can uh, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button. And uh, share this video with uh, people. Share the Facebook group with people. And uh, let me know what you're looking to do. Are you new to virtual pinball? Did you Do you have other cabinets? But now I'm thinking about adding a smaller one uh, with the toy shock cabinet. Uh, are you just curious? Are you, um, you know, gun shy about the trying it? Um, are you nervous about trying it are you excited about trying it comments below um, uh, hit the like button and and stay tuned okay guys until next time this, this is detroit love and i'll see you on the web <laughs>